Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Eleanor Toplinski. I am a board certified medical oncologist specializing in the treatment of breast and gynecologic cancer. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and undoubtedly you've seen a lot of information telling you to get your mammogram starting at age 40. And that is correct if you're of average risk of getting breast cancer. If you are in a higher risk category, you may want to be getting your mammograms before age 40, and we may also be adding ultrasound or MRI to that. But how do you know what category you fall into? The American College of Radiology recommends that everyone starting at the age of 25 get a breast cancer risk assessment. That means sitting down with your healthcare team and talking to them about your family history, thinking both maternal and paternal sides and multiple generations, asking if you qualify for genetic testing based on whether there is a genetic mutation already known in your family or if your family history places you at higher risk if you've had prior mantle or chest radiation therapy between the ages of 10 to 30, and if you have been diagnosed with something um, with atypical hyperplasia or lobular carcinoma in situ in the past. We want to continue to have that reassess that risk as we go on. At age 30, we can add in models that better predict your tenure and lifetime risk of getting breast cancer. Um, they take more factors into account, such as your breast density, if you know it, your height, your weight, the age that you started, Men, uh, having menstrual periods and, and several other factors, and I'll do a separate video on that. The model that we use is typically is the Tyra Cusick or the IBIS-2 model, but there are others. And a 20% lifetime risk on that model kind of makes you high risk. So these are some of the factors that we are looking at. If you are considered high risk based on that breast cancer risk assessment, you will sit down with your healthcare team and discuss how often you should be getting breast cancer screening, when to start, and with which modalities. So just here to say that 40 is average risk and some people are going to be younger than that. Let me know what questions you have about breast cancer risk assessment or breast cancer screening and I'm happy to answer them.